Hi guys, welcome to another Block Spotlight and today we're going to have a look at the timer. Now this is a Red Power 2 block and it's one of the, the first blocks uh, of the Logic module that you're going to come across and actually put to use. This guy here will basically send out a redstone signal on three sides based on a time that you can set. So you can have this thing sending out a redstone signal whenever you like. Now if you right click this you can set the time manually. Uh, you've got several options here to change the time. You can go up as high as you like. There probably is an upper limit but it's going to be way higher than you're ever going to need and it will go down as low as 0 0.2 seconds which as you can see is quite fast uh, the animation will follow the uh, the length of time that you set as well so it's, it's quite a handy little block because if you needed to uh, there are quite a few instances where you need to send a pulse to a, a block particularly with the red power, power blocks um, to either extract items or retrieve items so or break a block for instance so these guys find themselves extremely useful right from very early on right through to late game so now if you uh, take a screwdriver to it what you can do is you can just turn it around with a right click if you shift right click you'll actually open up that interface again but otherwise right click you can rotate that and the reason you you might want to rotate that is because you only output on three sides as I can show you over here you output on three sides if you put a resistance signal on that fourth side at the bottom it will actually stop the timer and you can stop the timer on either of the two sides uh, if we turn this guy it won't actually toggle it off if you do this that is a dedicated output side though if you um, turn it on any, any of the other sides you can stop the timer and reset it just that one output side now the recipe for this I'm sure you're wondering this is fairly complicated I guess um, most of these parts are made with base components the most you're going to need the most exotic item you're going to need is the redstone um, the stone wafers if you look at the recipe for that you just smell a stone very easy to make um, stone wires just a single redstone above one of those wafers the cathodes here, just a redstone torch on top of a wafer, and then again more redstone and wafers. So they are fairly easy to make. Not going to cost the uh, the earth for you even early on. So definitely a very useful item. Um, we will move on to some other logic blocks at some point and you will find that these timers can be put to great use when combined with some of the other logic blocks so there we have the timer if you have any uh, comments or suggestions for new blocks leave them below uh, hit the subscribe button for me and follow me on twitch again remind you i stream every night at seven o'clock the very rare occasions I don't make 7 o'clock, it will show in the title on the stream page. Uh, and I'll catch you next time.